Welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Star Bone Skies. That's right, we're going to be playing an Invoke deck, getting lots and lots of Celestials here for our next Meme Tier Monday deck. And it's also focused around this two mana epic, I'm surprised this was an epic card, Starbone is a card that I just actually haven't played before. I can't believe that I haven't since um, this came out. This It's not like this is a brand new card or anything, uh, but I just have, haven't played it. You know, usually Meme Tier Mondays, usually we have a lot of donation decks and uh, I haven't gotten one for Starbone yet and just haven't played it. And I was like, you know what? I'm building a Starbone deck for this uh, Meme Tier Monday today because I, I can't believe I haven't played this card yet. So we're going to do it. If we behold the messenger, we grant all of our celestial allies everywhere plus one plus one for two mana at burst speed, which is crazy. You get to use this as a combat trick because, um, you know, it is burst speed. It give everything plus one plus one. That seems awesome. And so that's what we're going to do. So in order to get the messengers, we're going to have just one messenger sig sigil. I don't think we need a ton of messenger sigils, just, just one to create some messengers in the deck. Because um, then we're also going to have other uh, cards that will get messenger. Spacey Sketcher will be able to help get a messenger. Um, we'll have Zoe create the super cool star charts. So that's going to be another pretty easy way to get the messenger. And then, of course, the Fangs, another easy way to get the messenger. Um, so we should have plenty of ways to find the messenger. Besides that, we'll also have um, Moon Dreamer, which can just, you play this and invoke, and that can get messenger. Even Solari Priestess can get messenger. If, like, Solari Priestess in or obviously uh, Mountain Scryer, right? That can invoke, so like maybe you hit the messenger there. But even Solari Priestess could get the Traveler, and then the Traveler could get the messenger. It's possible. Um, same, same with like a Rillian Soul later on. So we'll, we'll find some ways to be able to, to get it. Uh, we don't need it right away, but we're going to be getting a lot of invoke cards. And then we also have Iterative Improvement. This is the one non-Targon card that we're playing, where we can copy all these cards that get the inv the Celestials. Like this card is just amazing with invoke cards, because either you make another, you know, like Mountain Scryer, for example, and get more invoke cards. Or the Celestials are super powerful, and so you can just make a copy of the really powerful Celestial and get another one of those, <laughs> right? You know, like maybe we've made like the nine mana elusive Spell Shield Celestial and you just make another copy of it, which is <laughs> pretty busted. Uh, so yeah, Iterative Improvement works perfect, uh, perfectly with this deck. Um, but yeah, it's so going to be all about invoking. Giddy Sparkeologist is a card that I think is really underrated in invoke decks and great with Zoe, giving Zoe that plus one, plus one in Spell Shield. So we're going to play two copies of this. Could also be really nice with Mountain Scryer, giving that the plus one, plus one Spell Shield. Um, but then we're also going to be playing Skies Descend. You know, these are Starbone Skies. And since we're playing uh, so many different Celestials, if we can flood the board with Celestials, we can have Skies Descend be like a one mana wrath that just destroys all of our opponent's units you know doing 15 damage to all their stuff while ours stays alive so this is going to be our game breaking card because right because basically all we're going to do play defense sit back invoke a whole lot get lots of cards fill the board up with invokes but then it's like well how do you like break through and win boom here we go skies descend um so it should be a pretty interesting one to play so let's go ahead and get to it i think moon dreamer is an underrated card because if you look at like the just the size of all of our units like they're all like three twos two two one two 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 three two like they're all small and so just having like a little bit of size a three five i think that's an important blocker to have in the mid game so we're going to be playing a copy of moon dreamer playing this over like lunari priestess uh, which some people may play in this kind of deck i honestly like moon dreamer but only fit in one copy of moon dreamer i was going to play two but decided to play one eclipse dragon instead of the second moon dreamer so that we do have like one eclipse dragon to go along with aurelian soul um but yeah that's going to be our deck all right so let's go ahead and give it a try we'll play our five games of normals with star bone at skies <laughs> moon dreamer is bigger than talia yep everything's bigger than talia pretty crazy all right, Shen Jarvan. Shen Jarvan has a lot of challengers. Challengers can be difficult to defeat with a bunch of smaller units like what we have. I like Mountain Scryer a lot. So I thought about keeping both Mountain Scryers. They have barriers. Barrier is a good way to, to keep their unit alive from Skies Descend. Oh, whoops. Wait a second. There we go. Mm. All 
Sorry, no messenger. I think they're going to play a challenger and kill my Zoe right here. That's my guess. Bask in her radiant blessing. No. Wow. Slow hand. You just never run out of cards with an invoke tech. <laughs> you always have infinite cards. The balance requires a watchful eye. All right, no messenger yet. We chart our path by the stars. I don't want them to exactly know about these chargers. I want them to kind of come as a surprise. But I guess maybe I should have played one. Duty, selflessness, heavy burden. All right, we found the messenger. The charger chases stars across the sky. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. The charger is unyielding. I sense an imbalance. Okay. May, that may not have been my best possible round. Alright, 6 out of 10. Alright, I guess I should hold you back. Devotion through battle. And I, I should have blocked. I should have just done like a little bit of blocking with these. Honestly. The balance has been maintained. Yeah, I, I should have blocked. Understood. All right, so not the best last two turns for me. But yeah, I have faith. Yeah, Golden Sisters with plus one, plus one also cost you less. <laughs> so he's at nine? Nine? So I guess I need to play the star shaping. I was hoping that we were going to be able to Crescent Strike at the beginning, uh, you know, like at the beginning of the round. Oh, you're scary. Alright, just level up the Zoe. I don't really want any of these. Mm -mm, I guess you. Alright, well, that's pretty scary over there. Uh, I guess we'll play the other one. No quarter. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. 
I wish I didn't play the goat right now, because then I could I could play both Meteor Shower and Golden Sister if I didn't play the goat. Alright, they get to do that. That card's gonna be really annoying to deal with. Once were inseparable. Yeah, maybe Living Legends would have been better to grab instead of this Immortal Fire. Alright, so that tells us they don't have Sharp Sight. Challenger this round. Okay, I should have stunned like the Jarvan. Yeah, I should have stunned the Jarvan. I forgot they all have the Challenger. I was just thinking of the Scout. Yeah, I should have stunned the Jarvan. Yeah, I should have stunned Jarvan. That was a mistake by me. That was definitely a mistake. Yeah, we played against Lee Sin Riven. It's been a while since we played against Lee Sin Riven, but yeah, we've, we've, we've played against that deck before. Alright, so I've made some incorrect decisions with this deck. That's the thing, when you, ha you have all these decisions all the time, it's not easy to make the, the best decisions each time. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they don't have Sharp Sight, right? Like how they, they didn't represent having Sharp Sight earlier. So that's what I'm hoping they didn't, don't have that still. Just as you were to the flag. But, like, basically, like this Meteor Shower, I could have taken the six mana Obliterate, and like if I would have just done that and Obliterated this Jarvan, our life would have been a lot better. Um, for like For like one thing. So we have two lethal attackers, and then also a Zoe. And obviously I made the wrong decision with the stun earlier. That's their second one of these lifesteal barriers that have both been really good. Of 
All right, so Messenger draws a card, but Charger is lethal on its own. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, four. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm like, I don't really have anything to do about Rally. I'm not. I'm trying to figure out a way to kill them this next round. So I'm getting bodies to put into play and give elusive with the trickster. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not sure if I should just play the Skies Ascend first. I guess you probably assume that they have Deny, right? Out of like all these cards they haven't been playing for like a really long time, because I've, I've never given them like anything to deny. So I guess like Skies Ascend probably gets denied. I guess if I play Skies Ascend, it does give them this Cataclysm opening. All right, so now we're just attacking. There we go. All right, so the Elusives finally got there. So I, I made some wrong decisions. And the game was super close, closer than it needed to be, but that's what we got. Targon gets it done. Then that card can rally. All right, Zed Fizz. This will be fun. That was a good game, though. That was a good, you know, 20-minute game. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> Expect a lot of long games with this deck. Uh, I like our, our hand. Yeah, I won't take it all. Goat on two, Priestess on three, Fangs on four, Star Shaping for later. I'm worried about getting like burned out or getting like aggroed out, so like the star shaping should help with that. No round one Zoe, but that's okay. Fizz Z. Trade? No trades. What would you oh, gotta love Greenblade Elder. That card's amazing. Warms the heart and the way. Gotta love Greenblade Elder. Alright, so we got some messengers in the deck. I'm definitely a lot more scared now that they play Greenblade Elder than what I was a little bit ago. Yep, punished for playing that. Immediately punished. Immediately punished for playing them that Messenger Sigil and not just holding up Equinox for Greenblade Duo. Yes, this Green Glade Elder made this a lot scarier. Oh wow. Another Green Glade Elder. Like their plan is to block and bounce. I will teach you. Maybe they just trade. Okay, cool. They just trade. Opponent's hand was nice. Both champions, double Greenglade Elder, Greenglade Duo. Opponent's hand was nice. Double Greenglade Elder. 
So I can play the Golden Sisters. But then that's just it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The light of my star warms the heavens. I'm not sure about this. About playing just Golden Sisters. Messenger also just gives me a, another body I can play here, so I can play Mountain Goat and Messenger. Not only does it help, obviously, help the Starbone, but it just gives me two bodies to play, which is kind of the most important thing. No doubt he sees to dogs in the hereafter. One mana short from like Skies to send next round if they wouldn't. I'll play that. Not the worst for us. Living Legends? Question mark? Is they're only at seven. It's Destroyer. Let's go with the Destroyer. Okay. What do we want to do? Three mana. Kind of want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I kind of have to play something. And so I guess I play this Starbone. And next round, so because next round we'll have nine mana. I go Mountain Scryer, Golden Sister, Messenger costs zero next round. Could go Destroyer though, also, instead of Golden Sister. Could just save all three spell mana and do nothing. And just have my top card be burned. It's not like I really need it anyway. Um, could just play a gem. No, let's we'll just play this. Alright, pass. Hey, Draco. Yeah, we're not dead yet. Oh, really in soul. The mountain speaks to those who listen. All right, so top cards, iterative improvement. So this would be a 13-8 right now. How are they stopping a 13-8? Actually, I think it's a 14. I think it counts, it counts itself? No, okay, so 13. So then I can gem it, make it 14. Path. 
Yeah, they have to like get rid of spell shield then also homecoming it. Can't be easy. Disappoint me. I ain't afraid. But I'm going all in, right? Like it's a lot safer to play the Golden Sister. Okay, there we go. In case they would have like two answers here. But I guess if they'd have like double double homecoming to answer it, then you like Golden Sister could get double homecoming also. Alright, we're 2-0. Oh. Azir Darius. This is definitely the kind of deck that we can lose to. They are super aggro. We're gonna need some early stuff. Y'all are not early. <laughs> Even y'all are not early. We need our early units. Okay, there we go. Sketcher's early. Sketcher can just discard a Sky's Descend. Charger is early. Iterative improvements. So our Mountain Scryers are probably hitting now. The Allegiance. Considering there's only there's three PNZ cards in the deck and we got two of them. <laughs> so they're probably going to hit. Got something for them. I like our hand right now, though. I'd... It's a good hand. These are some of the worst options. Just don't need Equinox or Moonglow. I guess I'll just grab Trickster. They're too scared. They're down to four cards left. We have four cards left. Starbone. This this matchup's just too fast for Sigil and Starbone, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe. Ah, no messenger here. All right, but that'll do. So yeah, they were not able to go underneath us. We were able to stabilize with the help of Spacey Sketcher plus Iterative Improvement. Zillion Ezreal. Okay. Iterative Improvement has got to be awesome here, but still, I think I'm going to mulligan. Giddy Sparkyologist has got to be awesome. don't have early stuff right now. Okay, okay. There's Zoe. I bear a message from oh hey, what's that? Cool, no thermo. Fine. Zoe did her job, right? Traded up on mana. Help my mountain goat get in there. What do you make of that? Ooh. 
That card's awesome. Oh, this deck already looks pretty cool. Do I want the Warrior? Or Fallen Comet? I should probably just take Fallen Comet. Always happy to have a Fallen Comet. Boundary? That's honestly really good against me. <laughs> I have infinite cards already. I'm gonna need to fall in combat that. Like, not gonna lie. Because, like, playing Targon, we we already have infinite cards. So, like, just drawing more cards is just not... That's not an upside for us, but that's definitely an upside for my opponent. I gotta get rid of that. We love it when they run. Sure. Get our you, you don't want to. You don't want to challenge my one two. Yeah, silly. That's new. You're provoking it. Merciless Hunter. Getting through my cool spell shield. Time for a true display of skill. Yeah, I think that's it. No, no, I should I should gem the Zoe. I should have gemmed Zoe. Yeah, I should have gemmed Zoe. Why does this card have Fearsome? Fearsome is completely unnecessary on that card. Enable the Starbone. Dang. Hey, Vapandris. Stream's going really good. Opponent's getting pretty aggressive. Trying to end this game early. I'm gonna need... So they put a landmark on top. Oh, I should I should still just block I should I should have the priestess block the researchers. 
I'll just save an extra life. We had two instead of one, and then we'd kill the researchers also. I, I just instinctively blocked that, but I shouldn't have. Yeah, they've had a really solid hand. Yeah, then burn spell to finish it out with Tribeam. Yeah, that was a, just a great hand for the opponent. Those Merciless Hunters. Merciless Hunter having Fearsome won that game. Okay. Alright, and we'll try this one. Um, no Merciless Hunters in this deck, so I'm very happy about that. But yeah, Merciless Hunter, then the Tribeam and Probulator was a really clutch. That was a rough one. Alright, gonna put away you and you. I think that's a matchup like that. The last one that we won, I think that we we're gonna win most of the time, but they they had all the answers. You know, you never win any matchup 100% of the time, but I think that we'd be favored there most of the time we're playing it. This one I'm not as confident in, especially for how it's starting off. See, I'll check that out right after this game, Vepandris. Okay, we're going to need zero cost to one challenger. Which is not any of these. Coming in hot. Don't love our chances. Ugh. Just can't get a blocker, right? I just I just need like the zero or one cost unit for blockers that are like on both like that's all I want. I could have Scry or maybe block the two, three, one, dang, down to three. I should have Scry or block the one, two. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't have Scry or block the one, two. If I play Golden Sisters right now, then we die to another Noxian Fervor. I think that's the chance I'm willing to take because it's just I can't really just play star shaping here and then like expect to also win the game so I'm just gonna take that chance it was a mistake not blocking with the two three like I, I didn't want to block with the the legion grenadier and that's what I was just kind of focused on I just kind of forgot about like this one two over here I, I really should have blocked with that one two and then I'd be at four which I'd still die to noxion forever of course with grenadier but at least I could have one additional life and get rid of that thing Daylight star will rule the skies. As though day and night are not equal. So that's the way to beat Targon, is if you have a very good hand and are able to go underneath it. That is, those are the ways that uh, Targon can lose. Overall, I was really impressed with the deck, though. 
I was. It, it looked awesome, right? Like it's just these Targon cards are are pretty awesome. Uh, for you know, first time playing Starbone, and, and I liked it. Now it's it's not going to really help you out against your worst matchups, those super fast aggro decks. But uh, it looks it looks pretty good. I think that getting those Celestial Allies ever plus one plus one in like your uh, longer games and like your other other Targon decks or you know Demacia decks or anything like that. I think that that can be very useful. Iterative improvements looked awesome. Um, yeah, I think our list was really good. I think that I. It's not. It's not always easy to play these Targon decks when you have lots and lots of decisions to make. And and I think that I could have made some different and or better decisions in some of those in like those last two losses. And definitely like game one, we still won, but I made like it, it was a lot closer than it needed to be. And games four and five, um, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. But you know, hindsight, they could have done some different things. You know, obviously like that last game blocking with the mountain scryer but then i also just put myself dead to uh noxion fervor when i guess I, I didn't need to i could have just star shaping and then tried the next round but went for the win instead of went for went went to try to win instead of tried to not lose but all right disappointing last couple of games um this is the kind of deck that i i think uh you know as far as like you know, records go. I would I would be pretty confident in, in in having a very good record with this deck over and over again. I think three two is kind of like the floor uh, with this deck on a consistent basis. But there we go. That's what we did here for this one. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching some Starbone Skies, and I will see you for the next video.